another chilly fall morning, burning all the oils and the gasolines and the diesels to get everything warmed up. There's gonna be an army here today. This is amazing. There's already a pretty good group of people, but I think we have four shelter crew who are arriving sometime this afternoon. They left at 4 a.m. Eastern. <clears throat> Hopefully they'll be here about noon. I've gotta get these four logs that are right here by the mill turned into rafters. Hopefully that will take, it'll take most of the day. My uh, <clears throat> cumulative total, if anybody's interested in, would be 55 logs, 55 logs. Interestingly, that's exactly the number that I thought we would need, but I don't think that it worked the way I thought it would work. Uh, so, uh, four more rafters to go. Alyssa's working on planing. I know that Pat's working on layout and doing some of the preliminary cutting. Gabe, uh, who will be arriving today with Blueberry. Um, Gabe will probably take over braces. We wanted to get those done, and I might actually be able to work on them this afternoon, but let's just not count on it. I did want to share something, though. Uh, we needed to do a lot of maintenance on the backhoe, right? We lost a tire, <clears throat> alternator, another tire, battery. But one of the most important things to do on these pieces of equipment is to grease them, especially when you use them in dust and, and rain and stuff like that. And we have needed to do that for a long time. So my sister Anna is jumping in with the grease gun. I picked up a new grease gun, uh, <clears throat> but we don't have any grease. My old grease gun's got grease in it, so she's gonna track down a few uh, grease zerks and try to get some lube in there. Things are getting a little tight in the backhoe, making things dangerous, moving things around. But I found something that I think we're gonna like, or I hope, at least I wanna share it and we'll see how it works out. Probably one of the most annoying parts of greasing is getting the nipple on the zerk or the grease gun on the zerk and then having the grease go all over whatever you're doing instead of in the machine or on the, wherever you're trying to grease. So I picked up this coupler called a lock and lube and it goes on the end of any grease gun. And I got one that's got a hose so hopefully that'll be a lot easier to get to some of the tight spots. Um, the grease gun Anna's using right now has a solid um, hose or whatever. Um, so it's kind of hard to get into some of the tight spaces. But with this one, you squeeze this, the jaws come out, you clamp it on the Zerk and go for it. So we're gonna attach it and see if it works. Do you think it's worth putting this thing on there? Absolutely. For those who may not be super equipment savvy, each of these pins and a lot of these connections and moving parts has this little tiny nipple where grease can be forced into that connection to keep things lubricated. So back here on the backhoe pin, there's another grease zerk there. Uh, down here on these uh, side hydraulics, whatever, another grease zerk there. We've got one here on the king pin for draw. Well, I guess this is probably the king pin. So this is the boom pin. Yeah, the boom pin here. Um, there's, I can't remember how many are on this machine, but there is a lot. And there's another one up there, right there. These machines require constant greasing. It's not like we run them in the mud, the muck, the sawdust, the dust, all that other stuff too. This is the new grease gun that I picked up. I got it because I wanted a pistol grip. And it also comes with a rigid uh, connection as well as the hose. And a lot of the reviews, I did get this off of Amazon, a lot of the reviews said it was fantastic. But apparently um, you need to read the instructions carefully because priming this gun uh, correctly is super important. I think it's rated for 7,500 PSI. So good solid gun, ratings were good. Hopefully this gun will help us keep that backhoe lubricated nicely for years. So tasks that have nothing to do with being ready for the workshop are just as important. Lubing the backhoe, which Anna has under control, and the other one is trying to insulate our water, or I guess our pipes and our trench because we did not get that backfilled. We came really close, but we have some extremely cold weather in the forecast and the trench won't be filled in time. And Jesse said that it could freeze, but it won't do damage. So we figure that all of these shavings we can use to insulate the pipes. Um, apparently, people used to use sawdust and stuff 
in their house for insulation. So we'll see. I think my dad is going to tackle that in his free time and that's something that I could probably help with too. My dad has hiked the entire John Muir Trail, so hiking up and down this hill is nothing. Pretty much like hiking to the top of Mount Whitney a few times, right? Exactly. No, don't worry about that. That's backfilled enough. Oh, okay. So start there, start see where there. the encasement gotcha. is. Wow. Jesse said it only needs to be like a few inches thick mm -hmm. so we could try to spread the sawdust out over the entire trench. I'll try to reuse these bags. Huh? Yeah, that's a good idea. My dad's cooking on that. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, help Jesse load a log on the mill. Could someone else help Jesse load a log on the mill? Probably, except we feel that it is kind of dangerous and I've been doing it for three weeks. So I really know what to expect, what could go wrong, what the backhoe's gonna do, what the log's gonna do, how to act quick. And not that someone else couldn't do those things, but I don't know, we try to reduce risk where we can. So I'll go ahead and be available for that. Ready? This might be your last day of milling for a while. Are you sad? <clears throat> I could not mill a log for a long time. It's kind of funny how we're so excited right? to get a sawmill. And we still love it, but it's also pretty crazy how the last thing you want to do right now is mill logs. <laughs> what's, right, what's deceptive about our life <clears throat> is a lot of people share our excitement when we get something new but the problem is everything we get is <laughs> means work. work it's like woohoo look at this got a new backhoe piece of work that we got yeah. yeah everything that shows up here like we have zero toys the only thing we have that even comes close is the hot tub and it's not much work you know mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway so yeah, I, I will share in a future video some things I've learned. That'd be a great video. About that sawmill. Because I have this, I'll show you. My head has been this far from this sawmill for three weeks. I've learned a thing or two about <laughs> this little sawmill. We're like little homies. We're, we're besties. I can almost hear its blade turning in my sleep. So yeah, last day of milling. Hopefully we'll blow through those four logs. Uh, I'm feeling it. And then I don't have to load a log on this mill for a long time. Here's the pastor. Watch out, Pat's here. Everybody on your manners, best behavior. So Anna worked on greasing the backhoe a little bit. She's got to go to town later and get some grease too. Um, but we got a new grease gun and all that stuff. Finally get that stuff to use. Um, she worked on greasing the backhoe arm but we need a rubber hose to get into some of the fittings on the kingpin. That's what's making the backhoe kind of sticky yep. when you side uh, swing the boom side to side. So she's gonna tackle that when the backhoe's down, um, whenever it's not in use. Get that thing all lubed up, it'll make, make it run like a whole new kitten. Um, so that's really helpful. Um, yeah. And then I think they're gonna tackle that lumber stickering too, nice. which has been really helpful. So yep. <sighs> we just need, we need about 10 people yeah, on staff. Yeah, that's it. We need to feed them, house them, and work them to death. <laughs> Poor guys. I, I can't believe people still come after we call yeah. and say, hey. Could, could they you, all came willingly. Could you come for like a day or two? And they're all still like, smiling. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Can't tell which end is the butt end. Oh, here looks good. Oh, yeah. Breakfast hath arrived. Okay. Just clamp it and then we'll cut. Ow. Good morning, guys. You look warm. <laughs> Set up one more bunk right here. I hate to do it, but it's necessary. Floor joists. I can need to, you know. How has it been taking care of this large group? Oh, it's been exciting. It's been fun. <laughs> I think all the food's appreciated by everybody. Yeah, I can tell. My pleasure. This will be hopping in a day or so. That will, yeah. So, see those right here, all these knots right in the middle? 
Yes. And that weakens the beam. Okay. So the strength takes precedence over crowning. So I'll we'll make this. <coughs> so if the there's top. a weak link, you want it up, not down. Top, right. Okay. Because that's in compression. Okay, as it's as the beam is bending, all those weak points are just being pressed against each other. Mm-hmm. Put on the bottom. There's separating. Yep. Okay, that makes sense. Are you putting the, the top up or the side to be planed up? The side that needs to be planed up. Okay. Making an R because of uh, the wane. Well, that, so we'll put that to the outside up. And that's not a structural thing, that's just a cosmetic thing. Right. Wow. This trench is just as treacherous as it was the day we dug it. If you haven't seen that video, it's pretty wild. It's one of the best performing videos on our entire channel. This looks so good. Yeah. You're totally gonna have enough sawdust too. I was thinking if there's any extra, we should give it another pass. I say dump it all in here. It's yeah. gonna buy us a little time. Yeah, exactly. Thanks for doing this. Oh, you're welcome. Mommy put pretty tight knots in these. Yep. Thinking we were just gonna chuck them. <laughs> I gotta put my reading glasses on each time. Yeah. We do the knot. <laughs> we wanna reuse these bags if we can. To be frugal. He's a good nut tire. There we go. Yay. Beautiful. Something else Jesse thought my dad could help with is decommissioning. Whoa, our water system, our old water system. I wouldn't be shocked if it's frozen in there right now. This has been sitting unused most of the summer. Let's see if she froze. Nope, she's not frozen. We're probably gonna have to get this tank off with a truck or something in a trailer, but everything else we're pretty much done with. You have a PVC cutter? You know, I think we do somewhere. We also have like a, a, a pole saw that works pretty well. Could cut through pretty quick. Alrighty, we'll do it. My dad's earning his pizza tonight, that's for sure. Yeah. That last one was, takes the cake for a beam from hell. Like I cut it. Really? I spent 20 minutes calibrating that sawmill and then I cut it and it was over a quarter of an inch. Really? End to end. I just about lost my Wow. Yep. Went back and adjusted it again and I'll bet it's all out of whack again. So I have to share something if, if Alyssa uses this clip. 
on the back of this tape measure is tree diameter. If you flip it over, the back shows the diameter of a tree. I cannot fathom that there are trees. Oh, it stops. It does stop at 120 inches. So this tape measure can only measure trees that are 10 feet in diameter. <laughs> it does stop. I was thinking it went all the way to the end and I thought that's got to be a practical joke. blades and gas you can sawmill forever <laughs> and ever and ever and ever but you don't want to right but I'm very happy there are three blades left three and blades are, and three logs and there are two logs left three blades two logs it's good that we had a backup blade because at any moment you can hit a rock or something in this in the log and it'll just take a blade out that quick Yikes, so I'm glad funny. we had an extra blade because we're not out of the woods yet And I thank you. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. I try not to make boards, but some <laughs> okay. of this stuff, I don't know. Just removing the interim water solution. This is not needed, and this pipe is, uh, some of it's good, some of it's brittly, so it all goes, it to the dump. Really be used again. You got your earplugs in? Good. <laughs> This is the last log, hallelujah. So therefore we must document it on every camera we own that's in commission. Ready? Gotta get the head cam too. And to capture the arrival of the rest of the shelter crew because they should be here soon and there's a small chance I'm gonna miss it. Okay, good.
am so done with you, clamps. I'm ready to move on to the next chapter of our lives. I am done with you, Grapple. I'm so done with you. No more bruised shins. No more bruised or swollen elbows. I'm also done with you, dear clamp. Nice drone work. Don't worry, we'll be able to mill something else again. I'm pretty sure you're tired of being in a hunchback position. I am um, tired of putting you in that position. That's what I'm tired of. I don't, I feel that that's safe, but I don't like it. It can be done and it can be done safely, but I just don't enjoy it. It's very nerve wracking. It'd be one thing if it was just some guy, but it's not, it's the one I love. She's a tough sucker. My butt was vibrating, I checked it. I thought it might be blueberry. It was blueberry. They should be here any minute now. Oh, that's exciting. But she was asking about restaurants. You know what I was thinking? Why huh. don't we, instead of making this such a difficult thing, why don't we just change the night of the social? We can, we'll talk to her that's about it. That's about the easiest solution to the whole problem. Yep. It's just, if I don't everybody's think Monday closed, night's a bad idea. If everybody's closed, just move it to a different night and then we don't have this, yeah. this uh, complex situation. Our original place, that would be good. Yeah, I'm just saying like, that. I just dawned on me while I was thinking about it. I'm like, because the paper is printed. Yeah. But I think our attendees are smart enough. But, but <laughs> we have a printer and it can be reprinted. We do have a printer. So it can be reprinted to say whatever we want it to say. And I think Blueberry, in all of her wisdom, will see the wisdom of this decision. Right, Blueberry? <laughs> right? Right? If Blueberry doesn't agree, this won't make it to the video. If Blueberry doesn't agree, <laughs> I have a sawmill over here that could persuade her. <laughs> and I have a backhoe and very loud generators. Is it a threat or a promise? I, or... I just said I have things that can be persuade, persuasive, that's all. Can you help me? My uh, ear thingies always get stuck in my braid. I see that. And I can't get it out. What in the world? <laughs> this is quite a deal you got here. I don't know here. how that happened. <laughs> oh, when the nice. free. Okay, thank you. Come to the end of the earth. It'll be great. Trust I'm pretty us. sure we have another Canadian coming. Oh, fantastic. Really? Yeah. All right. They're going to like gang up on us. Right? <laughs> Two versus 30 Americans. They got there's it. Some sign about, like, there's some sign coming in that said, like, you can win the lottery in Canadian or something like that. I'm like, yeah. So you, are you done the last, the last tree? I am on the last turn and the last cut, wow. which I do believe we should document. I, I mean, agree. anything can happen. And we have to be super dramatic. <laughs> At this point, anything can happen, so. I could come help you guys film that. Let's do it. <laughs> that would be awesome, yeah. Oh, it's a time lapse. Shoot. All right. This so, is the last turn. Hold on. Before you do it, is there anything that I need to be aware about of things moving anywhere? Okay. This is gonna do we turn need on to do back. like a quick Levi introduction, or should we no, uh, make them guess? Yeah, you can do it later. It's okay. all good. This tree was living yesterday morning. It is now among the dead trees. All, all we're missing is snow to start falling from the sky. Right? <laughs> Ready? Three, go. go! Oh my god, that's still heavy with two people. Yep. Holy cow. I am awesome. done with you, PV. I counted. I have 30 bruises on this leg alone. On that leg? Wow. And it's mostly from this stuff. You gotta be careful saying that on camera. People think I beat you on your left <laughs> leg. Last cut, and I never want to see this sawmill again.
Yeah, it's good. I love wood. I filmed woodworking stuff before, so this is just on a different scale. friend you're really excited and you spend a month with them and then you're like I love you but it's time for a break yeah wow, wow. that's insane 55 logs 85 timbers three weeks to the day to the hour and the workshop starts at 1 p.m. Tomorrow. tomorrow so what time is it way now to use way to use every hour you finished like 22 hours you're 23 21 really 21 hours to go do you hear that it's quiet it's because your dad's gassing up the generator. <laughs> <laughs> this is just one less combustion engine that we have to fuel up every day, you know? I mean, I'm pretty excited about that. I'm pretty excited at the point where those gas cans get cobwebs on them. Mm -hmm. That'll be a really good day. Yeah. And your dad doesn't have to make any more soapy water. What's the soapy water for? Lubricant for the blade. Oh, okay. Keeps the sap. Keeps the oh, sap. that's right. Yeah, it's like soapy water. <laughs> every like three logs, I'm like, Paul! I brought some of my own logs, so we're, we're actually not you done yet. You brought some logs too? You're gonna have to help oh, me. In the van. <laughs> oh, that would have been awesome. <laughs> I would have been so mad if you pulled up with a trailer full, full of logs. like yellow cedar, just like, like, no! <laughs> Go away! All right, let's move this. Are we gonna do the whole caution I think tape? we should. We're gonna do like a finish line with the backhoe. And oh like, yeah. Da, 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 like I need someone car. to help me. Apparently Levi's sprinter van is named Florence. That's the furthest yeah, city he made it to on his honeymoon with his wife. So I think Florence is going to have to move. The Traverse is going to have to move. The rental car is going to have to move. This is a really big deal. Jesse says there's a ribbon in here. This is so Very dumb. Very juvenile. It seems appropriate. Yeah. I would say, given what you just said. We have a right to, for just a moment, take ourselves not too seriously, and then back to work. We don't even have a single alcoholic beverage on hand <laughs> to have a sip of. All right, we have to get ready. Do this. This is the lamest ribbon ever. Yeah, I think that looks great. Yeah. So basically they're gonna go diagonal from the beam, the post to the beam. Yeah, makes and sense. 
these should be pre-cut for the class because there's no time. It's just, there's way too much to do. So our goal was for Jesse and I to have all these cut, but Tonight. obviously we're down to the wire. So right. Gabe is the brace cutting guru. I guess so. <laughs> so we kind of have a station set up. They're mostly cut on the chop saw. Right. And then I believe he has to run them through the table saw. So yeah, Gabe will work on these right. for today and tomorrow. Right. You guys headed out? I think so. Do you wanna? The big, the big wig meeting. We're gonna stay down here and work. Hey, we have Levi time. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> That actually works out well. That does, because we needed to jump. So, uh-oh. Levi's had my camera. It's underexposed and the manual focus is on. Oh, Levi. Levi's. You left the toilet seat up. I keep trying to end this video. I keep <laughs> having distractions. <laughs> uh oh, I don't want to be wearing my baseball cap. I want my beanie. I might have to grab that. Um, today was a great day. Things kind of came to a grinding halt once Shelter showed up because they haven't seen each other in a while. Um, Levi showed up and things were just extremely chaotic. So they all took off to go have a big group meeting and kind of hash out the week and see what needs to be done. And we're going to call it quits too. Um, I think we're, we're definitely at a good stopping point. My mom has dinner ready. So we're all going to go over there where it's warm. Oh, sold. We met a couple of attendees already, and I think it's going to be a great workshop. I think they're going to have a lot of energy, which is good because I don't. <laughs> yeah, I think it'll give us energy. Maybe. I think our adrenaline tank's pretty much on E. We've already like oh. run out of Red Bull and Monster and adrenaline and sugar and caffeine and... My dad thinks he has to hike <laughs> to dinner. <laughs> Do you want to ride? Hey, you going my way? Do you really, oh, is Hop there space? Back, <laughs> this thing will hold like 15 people. We got room for one more. You getting in the back? Yeah. <laughs> you just got too much stuff. That's All right. awesome. This makes me like throw back to, throw back to high school. <laughs> Well, either one, you know. Yeah. To feed the chickens. The same level of effort, right? Chickens, <laughs> yeah, right. child. Yeah. We're gonna have a dinner social here after class one night. Oh, cool. So it would be nice to hang out with everybody. Yeah, no kidding. Knock knock. This is a cute hey. little place. Can I make a shoe comment? <laughs> This is the first time meeting Levi in person, but he's pretty cool because like he has the same exact boot as me. <laughs> Gotta try not to. Yours look about like mine, and mine are brand new. <laughs> this is not a Blundstone mine's commercial. Mine's about two times the amount of Blundstone <laughs> yeah. by the length. <laughs> yeah. 